So we did one video on this car already, but want to do a second one where the light was a little better outside. This Trans Am is a 5.0 liter. There's a little lock right here, which I believe is a hood lock. This car was told to be a California car. It did sell through Mecham at one point in time. A dealer bought it, had it in their showroom, and then we purchased it from them. Now the paint on this car is not perfect. It has quite a bit of spots where you can tell the paint has been touched up and redone. You can see some trash. You can also see where they painted around trying to save the decal. We have ridden and driven this car. You will notice a little bit of differential noise, maybe drive shaft noise. I think we did a couple sway bar bushings and some brakes. Dad gone flocked. Interior condition is uh, proper. This is a four speed car. This is by VIN number and what we were told a true bandit edition car. 1981. Four speed. Hopefully you can read that. Oh, let me see here. This is what came with it, so that's all we can vouch for. But um, it is a uh, T-top car. T-tops do, as always, have some leak to them. And we kept it indoors for the most part, but miles are showing actual. Uh, it is a bandit car. A lot of people don't realize the bandit car was you know a t-top car a four-speed car the cb radio you know a couple other little features that they had but um the honeycomb wheels but it's an average car so uh, we've had a lot of people hope that they found a 70 80 90 thousand dollar barrett jackson find for 35 grand or whatever the price is but this is not that but it is a nice driver with a paint job which would not be hard the body is good the undercarriage is solid and again it does have proper mechanical going over it has been sitting so probably need some fresh fuel but uh, a scuff and shoot for paint and fresh decals would go a long long way aside from that no complaints cool car we do have a customer that uh, <laughs> lots of customers say they're going to travel and come look at it but i want to do this video just you know in the showroom it didn't really dictate it as good as you know what it should be and still the video is hard but you can see little spots under the paint clear coat problem or whatever and then like i said chipped paint and other little issues so hopefully this helps Check it out on our website with very good detailed pictures. Not usually a car guy, our classics were thinning out. We had a pretty good little personal collection of classics, but we're phasing the classics out. We just don't have the space, even though we've got a bunch of square foot over there and a bunch of square foot over there, but just don't have the space nowadays. Commercial trucks and our regular lifted stuff is obviously our main forte and the classics just honestly just eat up a lot of time with questions and things people need and unfortunately with our short staff we just don't have the time so we can't give the customer the peace of mind and courtesy that they ask for and we can't do our job right we uh, we learn so classics are not our thing not to say we won't have some exotics and corvettes and some other things but uh most of our classics are going by the wayside so if you look at our inventory you see a classic in stock now is going to be the time to catch it i can assure you of that thanks for watching check us out anytime cool banded edition trans am <laughs>